Welcome to the first video lessons of uh, System of Linear Equations under PMET 11522 Matrix Algebra. Today we will discuss uh, what is a, a System of Linear Equation, how it can be formed. Suppose uh, we have a linear equation of n variables x1, x2, x3, xn. If it has the uh, relationship a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 and so on. Uh, in this case, uh, the coefficients a1, a2, an are all they are real numbers and the uh, right hand side b term is also a real number. In the relationship uh, x1 we call leading coefficient the first variable and the re uh, respect uh, relevant coefficient a1 is known as the leading coefficient. So we call this is a linear relationship because linear equation because it does not contain any product or root or any higher order terms of variables x1, x2, x3, xn and also it does not have any trigonometric exponential or logarithmic relationship so therefore we call it a um, leading coefficient, a le uh, uh, linear equation and it contains only uh, variables contains a variable appear, appears only for the first power. Now, if you have a m equation of uh, n variables, uh, we call this a system of linear equations. For example, we can see this notation. The first equation a11 x1, a12 x2 plus a13 x3, a1 n xn b1. Now, in this notation, you can see. Uh, Always in the first equation, the first index is 1, a11, a12, a13, a1n. The first index is 1. And the second index, for the coefficients x1, we have 1. For the coefficient x2, we have 2. Uh, coefficient x3, we have 3. Uh, the coefficient xn, we have xn. So, the first index stands for the uh, equation and the second index stands for the uh, variable. So, in general, if you have a i j, so if you have a i j, so i is uh, the for the equation, so that a i j mean i equation, j mean it's the coefficients of the variable xj. So that's how we use the notation in the system of linear equation. Now, for the second in, uh, equation, always the first index is 2, third equation, index is 3, and the OM equation, um, first index is always M. Now, this is the matrix representation of the linear system. For the first equation, you may remember the coefficients are a11, a12, a13, a1n. So they, we, we assemble these uh, the coefficients of first equation in the first row of the equation and the coefficients of the second equation in the second row. Now, uh, likewise, uh, for the mth equation, coefficients of mth equation, we assemble in the mth row. So therefore, we will get uh, m cross n matrix, m rows and n columns. So that is the first matrix. And here the next we have the column vector. It will be the variables x1, x2, x3 and xn. So it contains the variable x1, x2, x3, xn. And the right hand side we have the uh, in each equation uh, linear equation we have the uh, constant term b1, b2, b3, bn minus 1 and bn. So, the, they are assembled in the uh, column in a column vector uh, to the right hand side. So, generally we notate it a x equal b. So, x, uh, a is known as the coefficient vector uh, matrix and x is known as the con, uh, variable vector and b is the constant term. So, therefore, any given system of linear equation we can represent in a matrix form of a x equal b. Just consider this example. 
if you have x minus y plus 2 is a d is equal to 5, 2x minus 2y plus 4 is a d equal to 10, 3x minus 3y plus 6 is a d is equal to 5. Now we want to uh, represent this matrix in a matrix form. So first we consider the coefficients of x 1, 2, 3. They are assembled in the first column 1, 2, 3. And the coefficients of y minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So they are for the second column minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. And uh, the variable is uh, the coefficients are 2, 4, 6. So they are assembled as 2, 4, 6. So that's how we form the coefficient matrix. So the first column, uh, they are the coefficients of x. The second column, they are the coefficients of y. And the third column, they are the coefficients of z. On the right, uh, next you have the variables. We have the system of linear equation, the variable x and x, y and z. So therefore, variable vector is x, y, z. Right hand side, we have constant vector 5, 10 and 15. That's how we form the uh, system of linear equation. So the first row is uh, for the first equation. The second row is for the second equation. And the third row is for the third equation. So when you uh, use the no, uh, usual matrix multiplication, you can get the um, system of linear equation very easily. Now, there is a matrix associated to any given system of linear equation. We call it a uh, augmented matrix. If you have the uh, matrix A x equal B, when you assemble this A x equal B, a is in the left hand side and B is in the right hand side of the matrix, then we call it a augmented matrix. Augmented matrix means when you have the linear system A, X equal B, A is in, assembled in the into the, the coefficient matrix A is assembled to the left hand side of the matrix and B is uh, assembled into the right hand to the uh, of the matrix. So this will be another matrix if A is a M cross N matrix and B is a M cross 1 matrix AB will be it has M rows and N plus 1 columns N plus 1 columns. So therefore it's a, it will be a size of M cross N1 matrix. Now, for example, in the previous example, you may remember how we represent this uh, matrix form of the given linear system. So the coefficient matrix A, variable X and B, the vector, constant vector. So this vertical line should appear here. And then uh, here we have the coefficient matrix of the given linear system and B is the constant vector. So that is that's how we form the uh, augmented matrix respect to the given system of linear equation. Okay, what we have discussed today uh, in this lessons, uh, how we can form a system of linear equation and what is the augmented matrix associated to the uh, system of linear equation. In the next uh, few lessons, we will discuss how to find out the solution of the linear system. Thank you very much for joining with us.